Hello viewers and welcome back to the channel. Uh, you would have seen at the end of the last riding video we done the day out in the uh, pea gravel, uh, the Atlas um, neck brace, it broke at the rear tether. So I thought I'd do just a quick video, a bit of a review and show you the fix for replacing that rear tether. So I've had this brace about three years um, and used for all the rides. So riding now without it, if you when I head out, uh, it certainly feels not like you're missing something. Um, it becomes that uh, lightweight and you don't even notice it's there at the end of the long day. So um, luckily to say I haven't had any big offs to test it. I don't use the motocross straps that run down and form across your chest and back to hold, hold it in place. I find without it, uh, for trail riding and venture riding, it sits very good. It, has, it doesn't move around. So. I think there's a few shots I'll try and pick with me wearing it out in the field. Close to look up on the design of itself. There's a clip, red clip here that opens and closes with a tether, a small tether at the rear. These pads sit down low on the shoulder blade. With these front ones here, they sit down in the front. As you see, there's a bit of flex in them. As I mentioned, a very uh, lightweight brace. So I'll just see if I can get it to sit on the scales. 612 grams. So, oh, yep, that's correct. 612 grams. So, like I said, you really don't notice it when you're riding. See at the back here, here's the strap that failed. Might just pick it up, but there's a tiny bit of wire there. You can see it just poking out there where it's failed. The replacement part, see the part number there, ARP301120. Fits all braces, and it says that it is wireless. So I'm guessing at some point through the development of the braces, they've gone away from this tether. So we'll, uh, we'll replace it now. To replace, just need a four mil Allen key on either side. There's a, a nut there. These also hold in the rear shoulder paddles. So I'll take that out. Yeah, that's the old tether out. And see, they've had a little bit of thread lock on it, so I'll clean that up on, on the buff and we'll put new thread lock on. Now the bolt cleaned up, just want a small dab of medium strength thread locker. So a Loctite 243 product will do the trick. And that is stacks. On reassembly, you'll notice that the tether only goes one way. There's a cutout there, so that's something to watch for. It'll match up. It'll slot in one way and just do up uh, nice and firm. Now we use the medium strength 243 as we don't want to use, have to use heat when for dis disassembly. So uh, don't be tempted to use a 263 super nut lock. And there you have it repaired. Also we just have a, a close up look at the latch assembly. So just pushes together like that. And the release is a red toggle underneath. Push that and it comes apart. There's been uh, a lot of dust and, and grime water through through this brace, but still comes apart with relative ease. So that's it for me on a very short uh, video, just showing you around the Atlas carbon neck brace that I use out adventure riding. Uh, just one last point: there is a conception that 
wearing a brace you and you have an incident, you will uh, break your collarbone. Um, that could be true. I don't want to test it out. But in saying that, if it saves you from damaging your spinal cord or your neck, a well worth investment. And like I said, you forget you're wearing it most times. You'll have lunch and sit down in the cafe or, or wherever you are out, out the bush to have a bite to eat and you've still got it on and you just don't know about it. So I uh, definitely recommend it. Um, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you on the next uh, adventure or workshop day.